Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen. We are once again together to learn, to share, to generate, to innovate some new knowledge which we can learn in the classroom and then we should be ready to deploy when we go out there in the market. This is our session number 22. How are you feeling and how are you looking towards the future days and the future months and the future years where you will be deploying and putting your knowledge and personal capital in the market in action to bring profit at the personal level and also at the organizational level. Us there is a school of thought who would like to look towards knowledge as an object and as an entity which can add value. And what is the price of that value? How can you attach the dollar or the euro or the rupee tag, the currency tag, to that piece of knowledge which is adding value and helping us to bring the premium price? That's one approach. Second approach, we start learning from the last session, my dear students, my dear knowledge professional, is and was that let's look towards knowledge and knowledge management from the strategic perspective, long-term perspective. What kind of strategies we can evolve, design and develop, and then implement, which should give us a competitive advantage. And today I will competitive advantage ke concept. I will share something with you. It's a concept developed by Professor Michael Porter. You might have heard his name. I'm sure. Speaking of strategies, may it be marketing strategies or business strategies. You have read his Professor Porter's book, Competitive Advantage. Way back about 20 years ago, he wrote, But we would like to see that this piece of knowledge, which might be in the minds of the staff, or strategic perspective may per, for example, Professor Devonport ki koshish ye hai, ya US jo school of thought hai, generally uski koshish ye hai, कि इस नॉलेज को कैसे एक्सप्लिसिट बना लिया जाए और एक इंडिविजुअल डोमेन से इंडिविजुअल प्रॉपर्टी से पर्सनल प्रॉपर्टी से निकाल कर उसे पब्लिक प्रॉपर्टी बना लिया जाए उसे एक्सप्लिसिट नॉलेज बना लिया जाए उसे इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम और डेटाबेस का हिस्सा बना लिया जाए अब माइंडसेट कुछ भी हो सकता है यू कैन कॉल इट के जी देखिए uh, we like to focus more on reliability when we need the information, when we need the knowledge, when we need the expertise. Click it and you will get it through the website, through the web page, through the database, through the information base, through the portal. Or agar Gul Muhammad aaj nahi aaya, to koi baat nahi. Gul Muhammad is not important for us. No problem. He can take leave. Or he may leave the company. A built-in, see, a little bit, this approach is to happen. That Gul Muhammad's knowledge, which is his personal knowledge, how can we make it quickly and explicit? Code it. This is a strategy. And strategy, so see, see, those of you who have marketing strategy, Strategy के पीछे तो वैसे भी game theory का काम कर रही होती है। मैं उस तफसील में नहीं जाना चाहता हूँ। मेरा focus इस वक्त ये है कि strategic school of thought having a long term focus on knowledge, trying to make an effort that how the tested knowledge can be made explicit, and then depending upon what is the perspective. Remember we said the perspective could be कि अगर देखिए company के अंदर software और hardware ही proper नहीं है तो फिर हमें पहले 
आई टी परस्पेक्टिव के अंदर नॉलेज मैनेजमेंट को देखना होगा एंड वी लाइक टू मेक श्योर दैट दो चैनल विद इंफॉर्मेशन कैन ट्रेवल द पाइप लाइन मस्ट बी देयर जहां इश्यू रिलायबिलिटी और एफिशिएंसी का हो ऑटोमेशन का हो और राइट वी वी आर रेडी टू गो फॉर द आईटी परस्पेक्टिव टॉप मैनेजमेंट विल टेक द आईटी परस्पेक्टिव टुवर्ड्स नॉलेज मैनेजमेंट जहां परस्पेक्टिव ये हो कि वेयर इज द राइट इंफॉर्मेशन हु हैज इट हाउ कैन वी गेट एक्सेस टू दैट इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डलेस वेदर इट इज विद द पर्सन or it is with the machine so there is a information perspective of the top management towards knowledge management so strategies would be developed accordingly acha dekhiye humne kaha tha ki teesra perspective agar ye liya jaye ki log knowledge share hi nahi karna chahte resistance hai so this is my personal capital why should i share okay i will share only the amount and the kind and the type bas jiski zarurat hai cultural issues hai to us perspective ke andar the sabse pehle to aap ye culture develop kijiye cultural change lani padegi ke having making the knowledge in the pool of the knowledge making your individual memory part of the collective memory taking the knowledge from the personal property into the organizational property and organizational asset we need to change the culture and we need to make sure that people do understand that once it becomes the property of the organization your ownership will still be recognized acknowledged तो इन तीनों पर्सपेक्टिव को सामने रखते हुए फिर हमने लास्ट सेशन में ये लर्न किया था कि वुड यू लाइक टू गो फॉर ए कोडिफिकेशन स्ट्रेटजी और वुड यू लाइक टू चूज पर्सनलाइजेशन स्ट्रेटजी दोनों स्ट्रेटजीज हैं और दोनों का लॉन्ग टर्म फोकस है ये कोडिफिकेशन स्ट्रेटजी तो साफ तौर पर आपको बता रही है कि और राइट यू विल टेक दैट पीस ऑफ नॉलेज may it be marketing may it be product development may it be the customer relationing may it be the supplier relationing and try to put it as a best practice maybe in an html code maybe in the information repository bring it in the information system and the knowledge repositories so that means we will try to have automation maybe call centers people can call in the knowledge has already been implemented anybody sitting there on the phone can access and let the answer be known on the other hand what is personalization strategy well the culture is such we can use a strategy people are willing to go out of their comfort zone to help the customers of the organization so we are having a unique और मे बी दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हमने कहा था ना कि फिर फोकस ये होगा कि रीयूज इकोनॉमिक्स या एक्सपर्ट इकोनॉमिक्स हॉस्पिटल आज हम जरा उस पर मजीद बात करेंगे हॉस्पिटल्स अब हॉस्पिटल्स के अंदर अगर आप कोडिफिकेशन स्ट्रेटजी को एडॉप्ट करने की कोशिश करें और आप ये कहें कि सारे स्पेशलिस्ट डॉक्टर सारे छोड़िए जी किसी एक स्पेशलिस्ट डॉक्टर को आप ये चाहें कि उसने पिछले 20, 25, 30 साल के अंदर जो पेशेंट्स के साथ इंटरेक्ट करके अपने फील्ड का नॉलेज गेन किया है यू वांट टू मेक इट पार्ट ऑफ द नॉलेज रिपोजिटरी ऑफ द हॉस्पिटल ऑटोमेटेड हाउ इजी दिस विल बी आई लीव इट टू यू टू थिंक अबाउट इट ये तो मैंने देखिए डॉक्टर की मिसाल ले ली ना हाउ बट ए गुड मार्केटियर हाउ बट दैट एक्सलेंट सेल्स एग्जैक्टिव customers are happy to talk with him how about that brand manager who really have helped hard who have really worked hard and helped the company to raise the image and the equity of the brand that people know the company through him or her 
so his expertise and his knowledge yes my as a ceo my strategy is that how can i turn it into explicit knowledge well that's my desire that's fine it may work it works in certain companies but it may not work in certain other companies so my dear students what we are learning here is that competitive advantage yes we want to achieve we want to gain but the question and the very important question is what is the environment of the organization what is the perspective of the company what is the business we are in what's kind of sector of economy we are in and is it going to be a single phase strategy or is it going to be mixed aaj phir hum dekhna chahenge is it an expert driven business or expertise driven business or is it an experience driven business and there is a third choice is it an efficiency driven business to teenon ko hum samne rakhenge phir aap decide kijiyega codification versus personalization and in all these cases would you like to blend so that you can add value to gain the advantage in the market that is the choice and my focus in strategic school of thought is sustainable long term focus and in this perspective then i would like to see then while developing the strategies keeping in mind the it and the culture and the information perspective plus the codification versus the personalization choice what kind of business we are in so are you ready let me move on i'll move on finish this strategic school of thought and then i'll give you an example especially example in the e learning sector of economy where the knowledge is for sale i'll talk about that in a minute and then i'll ask you certain questions that maybe you among your class discuss it look at the website look around in pakistan as well and see what kind of strategy maybe you like to adopt if there is a unique advantage for you if you want to act as an entrepreneur so let's move on then and continue looking and understanding and learning what this strategic school of thought has to say towards knowledge management while developing the strategies for knowledge management strategic school of thought and we like to see now is it a expertise driven business experience driven business or efficiency driven business aur isi ke sath par hum relate karenge jo aapko slide pe nazar aa raha hai would you like to develop stock strategies or would you like to develop flow strategies or would you like to develop growth strategies dekhi asset kaun sa hai jo hamare zehen mein knowledge but depending upon the kind of business and the type of business and the focus you have towards knowledge will change your strategies or you come up with those kind of strategies looking at your focus or the top management's focus towards knowledge so in other words what type of focus is there in the, towards knowledge in this organization and either it is an expertise driven driven or experience driven or the efficiency driven let's take a look on the expert driven or the expertise driven competitive advantage in this case is achieved through innovation because maine kaha tha doctor expert always look at the new problems uses previous experience previous knowledge comes up with the new solution so innovation is always looked for encouraged for and expected for the knowledge workers in this kind of organization apply their knowledge to understand and to solve and to learn and learning from the problem and learning from the problem solving becomes important to solve the new issues and the new problems and it becomes important because the next and the unknown case or the unknown problem of the customer 
and he is or she is depending the new customer the new problem only on the expertise of the knowledge worker so in other words a customer a patient a client or a problem or a case is presented to the expert and you expect that he would come up with a unique solution no other in town no other in the city have that kind of solution and you depend on developing an advantage as compared to your competitors on the basis of the innovative solutions so the focus in this business is on innovation ab expertise driven business ke andar aap zara zehen mein laiye ki kaun si example ho sakti hai मेडिकल डॉक्टर की मैंने आपको एक एग्जांपल दी है हाउ बट द लीगल बिजनेस थिंक ऑफ दोज लॉयर्स हु एक्ट एज ए रिपोजिटरी ऑफ सो मेनी केसेस एंड द नॉलेज ऑफ द केसेस व्हिच वर प्रेजेंटेड इन द कोर्ट्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान मे बी द हाई कोर्ट्स एंड द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड नॉट ओनली पाकिस्तान मे बी द कोर्ट्स ऑफ साउथ एशिया and maybe the courts of the world and here he is that for each new issue for each new case for each new problem he looks at the past how it was handled and he comes up with a new unique answer new innovative solution new innovative argument to be presented in the court to win the case let's move to the experience driven where the experience becomes important you solve large and complicated problems of the customers and the problems may be new but can be solved with existing solutions problem has come up with the customers but you already have the solutions over the last many many years because the context is same mechanical context electrical context civil context architectural context so edge is gained in this kind of business edge is gained by effective adaptation of the existing tools and technologies and techniques of course continuous improvement in effectiveness will also be important hum kehna ye cha rahe hain ki yahan par jab hum experience driven business ki baat karenge abhi example bhi hum dekh lete hain jaise maine engineer kiya maine aapko mechanical electrical ki baat ki generally in the engineering profession you focus on the new problem but you look at the existing solutions ye boiler ka problem ke liye pehle hamare paas solution kya hai ye corrosion ka problem engineering related problem ye process ka problem iske liye hamare paas existing solution kya hai and the third type of business depending upon ki bhai aapne strategy किस किस्म की डेवलप करनी है थर्ड टाइप ऑफ बिजनेस कुड बी बिजनेस टाइप कुड बी एफिशिएंसी ड्रिवन देखिए तीनों में फर्क है जहां आप एक्सपर्टीज की बात करेंगे वहां एफिशिएंसी नहीं वहां इफेक्टिवनेस वुड बी मोर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द यूनिक एंड इनोवेटिव सोल्यूशन वुड बी मोर इंपॉर्टेंट एफिशियंसी ड्रिवन बिजनेस मीन यू सॉल्व द नोन प्रॉब्लम एंड द क्वालिटी ऑफ द सोल्यूशन इज फाउंड इन फास्ट एंड इन एक्सपेंसिव एप्लीकेशन टू मीट द कस्टमर नीड्स you have already made the knowledge explicit it is known in the call center anybody can call in frequently asked questions ke jo answers hain wo already aapne system ke andar maujood hain aapne unko tags bhi lagaya hua hai map bhi kiya hua hai aur wo flags or tags anybody can sit on the uh, tele center call center and can answer advantage is gained in the ability to make small adjustments in existing goods and services at a low price what does that mean that means now efficiency is the focus and we are trying to sell goods and services with a lesser profit margin because we are talking in terms of selling those goods and services at a cheaper price lower price so when you speak of lower price 
and you're developing a strategy to sell your product at a lower price, then you have to increase your efficiency. Increasing efficiency means you will solve your known problems with known solutions. Let us say that knowledge you have put into process that every time when a customer will come and you will give him a large size of french fries go also suniyega large size of french fries ab kaise usko make sure kiya jaye isliye ki dekhi profit margin bahut kam hai we are selling goods at a cheaper price so we make the process or the business efficient can we come up with a scoop that every time when we use the scoop to fill the bag of french fries more or less the same amount or the same weight of french fries will be given and we have put this knowledge into the scoop measure, measurement in such a way that all over the world the same type of scoop and same style of scoop is used when you are measuring the large size of the french fries by using the scoop because we are focusing on efficiency known problems known solutions to iska matlab ye hua ke speaking of these three types of businesses we find ye bada mushkil hoga ki kisi ek business ke andar sirf ek hi kism ki strategy ko aap use kare कि जी यहां बस एक्सपर्टीज ड्रिवन बिजनेस है और एफिशिएंसी की हमें जरूरत नहीं है जैसे मैंने अभी मेडिकल डॉक्टर्स के केस में कहा देखिए वहां एक्सपर्टीज की भी जरूरत है लेकिन एक्सपीरियंस ड्रिवन भी है तो इट्स गोइंग टू बी ब्लेंड सो इन अदर वर्ड्स मोस्ट डॉक्टर्स इन दॉस्पिटल आर मेनली इन द एक्सपीरियंस ड्रिवन बिजनेस ऑफ सॉल्विंग न्यू प्रॉब्लम with known methods but sometime they are in the expert driven business specialist especially so expertise and experience both are going hand to hand but you expect from the doctors that they always be innovative especially from the specialist engineering companies engineering firms engineers are often in efficiency driven business but most of the time also in the experience based business आप उनसे एफिशिएंसी तो डिमांड कर रहे हैं लेकिन उनका एक्सपीरियंस भी उनको गाइड कर रहा होता है और उनका देखिए एक्सपीरियंस भी तो नॉलेज ही है ना उस नॉलेज को आप एफिशिएंसी के अंदर ट्रांसफॉर्म कर रहे हैं जैसे मैंने अभी आपको आपसे शेयर किया कि हाउ टू सेल लार्ज स्कूप ऑफ फ्रेंच फ्राइज एंड द नॉलेज हैज बिन एम्बेडेड इन दैट स्कूप स्कूप का साइज स्कूप का स्टाइल is making sure that every time when you are selling that size of french fries more or less same weight same amount is given out so there is no loss to the customer or there is no loss to the business and we stay for a long term in a win win situation customer is happy and so is the business organization so my dear students knowledge focus will be different in expert business driven or experience driven business or efficiency driven businesses knowledge and focus will be different for example dekhiye new learning is important in expert driven agar aapne expert ko naya knowledge nahi diya nayi training uski nahi karwai nayi learning uski nahi hui nayi medicine ko usko nahi pata chala naye equipment ko usko nahi pata chala nayi methodology ko usko nahi pata chala but experience knowledge will soon become obsolete that specialist will no longer be high in demand you cannot charge the premium price for that particular expertise because his knowledge has become experience to hai jaise maine aap se share kiya tha na ki mere paas 30 saal ka experience to hai i completed my phd in 1978 professors ka bhi yahi haal hai he is an expert doctors medical doctors specialists and professors to 30 saal ka experience to hai but do i update my knowledge do i learn new disciplines do i learn 
new innovations? Do I learn and go and attend classes around the world? Maybe sit with those professors, read those articles in the journals, look at the website, what is new coming in my field? For example, knowledge management ke field ke andar. Ye field to bazaate khud ne hai. Mid-90s mein quality management, total quality management. But reading quality management, I learned that there is going to be a time in the 21st century that Deming's philosophy and the knowledge management, especially with the tools and technologies of information processing and communication processing, will make the economies driven and the businesses driven on the basis of knowledge. Let us develop the expertise. So new learning is very important. In the expert-driven business, ke andar, aap apne knowledge workers ko nahi training, nahi learning agar nahi denge, aapko competitive advantage nahi mil sakega. Ha, know-how of the new problem solution is important in experience-driven. Know-how to zaruri hai, while knowledge of the previous problems becomes obsolete. Or efficiency-driven ke andar, all knowledge concerning both problems and solutions is important that you accumulate that knowledge so you can improve the efficiency. Aap apna experience, expertise, know-how, usko accumulate karte chale jayen, automate karte chale jayen, so the efficiency should be higher. Dekhi efficiency aap isi ko kehte hai, in a given time, you can do the maximum work. दस आपने मैं फिर वही एग्जांपल लेता हूं दस आपने लार्ज फ्रेंच फ्राइज के ऑर्डर्स फिल करने हैं यू हैव अ स्कूप द नॉलेज हैज बीन एम्बेडेड इन द स्कूप एंड यू आर इंप्रूविंग द एफिशिएंसी बाय एम्बेडिंग द नॉलेज इनटू अ टूल एंड एफिशिएंसी विल गो अप लेट अस से इन द सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग यू आर डेवलपिंग अ सॉफ्टवेयर you want to gain efficiency by deploying the previous objects which you have already developed. You simply plug it in. Or plug and play ka jo concept hai, wo bhi efficiency ko increase karne ka hai. So these differences in knowledge, my dear students, would lead to three different knowledge management strategies. And these knowledge management strategies will be calling stock, flow and growth. Let us relate expert-driven, experience-driven, efficiency-driven businesses to strategies based on stock, strategies based on flow, strategies based on growth. Stock strategy. It is focused on collecting and storing all the knowledge in information basis. Aap stock ko ikatha kar rahe hain. As simple as that. So the focus is on collecting and storing all the knowledge in information basis and you make them available to knowledge workers wherever they are through the knowledge networks. You may call this kind of strategy person to knowledge or person to document. Whenever you need, you go to the document. The document could be the hard page. Document could be a soft page. Document could be a web page. Document could be a portal. Document could be on the intranet. Document could be on the extranet for the suppliers and for the, for the external customers. So stock strategy is that your focus on knowledge is that you collect the knowledge and you store the knowledge. So in other words, you will be making mostly the knowledge in the explicit form. Flow strategy. In this case, strategy is focused on collecting and storing the knowledge in information basis as the information is used by the knowledge workers in the knowledge work process. Jab tak uski zarurat hai, information basis mein, wo maujood hai. Once it is not needed in the knowledge work, then information is obsolete and deleted from the database. Isko aap keh lijiye, yellow page strategy. Who knows what? Yellow pages mein hi hota hai na? Telephone directory mein, jab aap yellow page nikalte hai, achha ji, mujhe travel agents ke naam chahiye. You simply go to the travel agent. And look at the names of the travel agents. Exactly similar strategy is used in the organizations. Yellow pages of the organization. 
who knows the knowledge about boilers who knows the knowledge of the customers in the south region who knows the knowledge about the mixing of the butter and the sugar and the caramel when the temperature is high who knows when a customer calls in and has a complaint about the motherboard of the laptops who so you have a link you simply go and click and you get the information about that person and in this case the knowledge area and the link is provided to that person so any new knowledge worker can search him and can get connected with him this is also one of the model we call hypertext organization yellow page strategy mein bhi yahi hota hai ke you list person a his knowledge areas are 1 2 3 4 5 miss b her knowledge areas are her experience and expertise are in the areas of 1 2 3 4 and here i am a new one on the project and i need an information so i simply go to his website his personal website his personal web page and maybe you find knowledge written there or you get connected with him so you may call this strategy as a person to person strategy a novice to expertise so in other words the knowledge of the expert is flowing to a person who needs that information so the focus is on the flow of knowledge dekhi pehle stock strategy mein kya tha ke focus was on storing the knowledge and collecting the knowledge and then anybody can use it person to document in this case person dekhi document yahan par bhi hai lekin focus us par nahi hai wo document jo hai wo to kisi ki personal website hai matlab company ke andar hi वो लोगों की पर्सनल वेबसाइट्स हैं, उस पर वो लिस्टेड है कि उनकी क्या एक्सपर्टीज है दिस इज पर्सन टू पर्सन स्ट्रेटेजी थर्ड इज द ग्रोथ स्ट्रेटेजी दिस इज फोकस्ड ऑन डेवलपिंग न्यू नॉलेज थ्रू इनोवेटिव वर्क प्रोसेस वेन नॉलेज वर्कर्स हैव टू सॉल्व न्यू प्रॉब्लम विद न्यू मैथड्स एंड ऑफकोर्स दीज प्रॉब्लम आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द कस्टमर्स और सप्लायर्स बट द फोकस इज दैट वी वॉन्ट टू ग्रो ग्रोथ फोकस है ना we want to grow but the focus is on innovation so growth and innovation are directly related when a knowledge worker starts a new project he will use the intranet or extranet to find information on work process and learning which other peers have used have basically in the past successfully used in previous innovation process so in other words the knowledge of the projects is available because the focus is that when a new project or a new knowledge worker would like to access because here we are we like to grow our business anybody who have an innovative idea which can be transformed into a product which can help the company grow so we have a growth strategy we allow the people to innovate in all the previous solutions information about the customers data about the suppliers outsourcing data inventory data even the logistic data and information is available to the knowledge workers through intranet or extranet whatever kind of data is required it is available to knowledge workers and knowledge project and knowledge process because we are asking every knowledge worker that they should help us to grow focus is strategy is for growth so when strategy is for growth then all the data and information should be available of from the intranet from the extranet to that knowledge worker so he can come up with an innovative idea to be transformed into a product or a service so my dear students let's put them together now stock strategy is used for efficiency driven kya khayal hai theek hai na efficiency ki zarurat hai 
आपने नॉलेज लेकर स्टोर कर लिया कलेक्ट कर लिया डेटा के अंदर एंड यू आर यूजिंग दैम सो एफिशिएंसी ड्रिवन बिजनेसेस यूज स्टॉक स्ट्रेटजीज फ्लो स्ट्रेटजी इज यूज फॉर एक्सपीरियंस ड्रिवन बिजनेसेस यू डेवलप इंफॉर्मेशन नेटवर्क वेर एवर द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द नॉलेज इज इट विल फ्लो देयर थ्रू द नेटवर्क and the growth strategy is used for expert driven businesses but then you will help them to develop network of experts is liye experts bhi to ek dusre se guftugu karna chahenge na pichle project par kya hua isliye maine aap se share kiya tha na ki khaas taur par jo knowledge workers hain agar wo table par baithe sms kar rahe ho email check kar rahe ho email kar rahe ho messenger par kuch browse kar rahe ho aur chat kar rahe ho please don't think they are wasting time they might be sharing they might be asking they might be seeking new knowledge so that they can come up with innovative idea growth strategy to dekhiye depend karega ki aap kis business mein hain ya top management ka focus kya hai aur stock strategy aur flow strategy ke andar aap dekhiye it is an excellent enabler maybe in the form of databases or knowledge bases or information systems or maybe in the form of networks dekhiye flow strategy mein to humne intranet aur extranet dono ko involve kar liya tha internet to hoga hi hoga internet ki to hum baat hi nahi kar rahe isliye ki knowledge management without internet is simply not possible lekin growth strategy ke andar we are more developing on soft network फ्लो स्ट्रेटेजी में वी आर मोर फोकसिंग ऑन हार्ड नेटवर्क ग्रोथ स्ट्रेटेजी यू हैव टू डिवेलप द सॉफ्ट नेटवर्क अगर आप डेवलप नहीं कर रहे तो लेट द एक्सपर्ट लेट दम डिवेलप यहां से फिर वो कॉन्सेप्ट आएगा कम्युनिटी ऑफ इंजीनियर्स कम्युनिटी ऑफ डॉक्टर्स कम्युनिटी ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर कम्युनिटी ऑफ इंटरेस्ट विल टॉक अबाउट दैट बिकॉज सॉफ्ट नेटवर्क are very important if you believe in growth acha phir jab baat ho rahi hai growth ki to aap mujhe bataiye kaun si company hai jo grow nahi karna chahegi and pakistan in general as a country asia as a whole as a continent and all the countries in asia you look from the perspective of growth take a look at the human asset in pakistan can it be the growth enabler take a look at the economy of pakistan is it a growth enabling economy asia as a content uh, asia as a uh, continent continent nahi continent you compare asia with europe and american continent and you will see that in 21st century i think it is the century of asia ठीक है एशिया में आ, कुछ ममालिक ऐसे भी हैं कि जो बिल्कुल आ, जिसे हम कहते हैं एलडीसी लीस्ट डेवलपिंग लीस्ट डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज वेयर दी पर कैपिटा इज वेरी वेरी लो बट देन आर वी फॉर गेटिंग चाइना एंड इंडिया स्पेशली चाइना एंड यू लुक एट द नेक्स्ट सेंचुरी एंड सी हाउ द ग्रोथ इज एंड द ट्रेंड इज एंड हाउ द वर्ल्ड इज लुकिंग टूवर्ड चाइना as asia so my dear students my dear knowledge professionals if you focusing on unique advantage and you like to develop strategies the question is how are you going to manage your knowledge are you going to consider it as stock are you going to consider it as a flow are you going to consider it as a growth and then you develop your strategies accordingly at a while speaking of stock flow and growth i would like to share with you another example aap mujhe ye bataiye would you like to consider the water in the pipeline as a knowledge or would you like to consider yani wo jo pani hai pipeline ke andar kya wo capital hai knowledge capital hai ya flow of water in the pipeline that is a capital 
I repeat, stock of water in the pipeline, is it that capital? Or the flow of water in the pipeline, is it that capital? Potential kiss me. Acha aur phir, acha aur phir mein pipeline ko ab compare karta hoon river ke saath. Would you like to develop strategy focused on knowledge considering it as a pipeline which is carrying your stock at a certain speed or would you like to develop strategies on looking knowledge in the form of a stock or flow but like a river? Sochi thodi der ke liye. Now river is also a kind of pipe. Water is flowing. It also contains stock of water. But please keep in mind कि जो पानी river में है river की direction जो है वो river पानी को नहीं बताता पानी river को बताता है कि मुझे कहां से रास्ता बनाना है और किस तरह से जाना है pipeline के अंदर pipeline की boundary fix कर देती है knowledge के flow को और knowledge के direction को पाइपलाइन स्ट्रेटजी अगर आप रखेंगे नॉलेज के लिए ग्रोथ नहीं होगी आई होप यूर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट पाइपलाइन स्ट्रेटजी टूवर्ड्स नॉलेज और नॉलेज मैनेजमेंट पाइपलाइन स्ट्रेटजी टूवर्ड्स नॉलेज मैनेजमेंट विल नॉट गिव यू ग्रोथ ये स्टॉक इज देयर फ्लो इज देयर बट इफ यू कंसिडर रिवर वेर देर इज अ लाइफ ऑन बोथ साइड where it is growing and you letting the water make its own direction let the knowledge workers let them think let them grow let them be innovative your company will grow dekhiye flow dono mein hai stock dono mein hai lekin jo life darya ke dono kinaron par automatically abad ho jati hai koi abad to nahi karta na balki aap dekhiye indus river वन ऑफ द माइटी रिवर ऑफ पाकिस्तान देखिए कितने शहर आबाद हैं इंडस रिवर के दाएं और बाएं किनारे पर किसी ने आबाद तो नहीं किए खुद ब खुद ग्रोथ हो गई तो माई डियर नॉलेज प्रोफेशनल लुक टूवर्ड्स नॉलेज और आपके जो मैनेजर्स और बॉस हैं उनको यह कॉन्सेप्ट समझाइए कि नॉलेज इज एन इंडिकेटर एंड अनेबलर ऑफ ग्रोथ ओनली वेन यू गिव ए फ्रीडम और स्पेस टू द नोअर जिसके पास नॉलेज है उसको फ्लो करने के लिए उसको अपना रास्ता बनाने के लिए उस पर पाबंदियां ना लगाइए आप अगर दरिया का रास्ता काटना भी चाहेंगे तो बाजू का मुश्किल हो जाती है उस दरिया के रास्ते को काटने के लिए और फिर वो मौज जो दरिया के अंदर है वो पोटेंशियल जो दरिया के अंदर है वो पाइपलाइन के अंदर वो पोटेंशियल नहीं होता इसका मतलब यह हुआ कि नॉलेज को मैनेज करने के लिए कमांड एंड कंट्रोल स्ट्रैटेजी पाइपलाइन स्ट्रैटेजी विल नॉट गिव यू यूनिक एडवांटेज कंपिटेटिव एडवांटेज एज कंपेयर टू इफ यू फोकस मोर टूवर्ड्स दी ग्रोथ स्ट्रैटेजी लेकिन देखिए चॉइस आपके पास है या चॉइस मैनेजर्स टॉप मैनेजमेंट डिसाइड करेगी कि हमें किस स्ट्रेटजी को फॉलो करना है सो so, इस परस्पेक्टिव के अंदर फिर आप जब स्ट्रेटजिक स्कूल को और नॉलेज स्कूल को कंबाइन करके देखते हैं तो नजर ही आता है कि वी आर एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू कंसिडर दैट व्हाट आर दोज कॉम्पिटेंसीज कोर कॉम्पिटेंसीज विच कैन एड वैल्यू टू दी प्रोसेस सो इन अदर वर्ड्स कॉम्पिटेंसी इज नथिंग मोर देन अ स्किल सेट अच्छा और फिर कोर कॉम्पिटेंसी की हम ये बात कर रहे हैं कि दीज आर यूनिक टू आवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ बंडल ऑफ अबिलिटीज इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सर्टन टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड दीज टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड अबिलिटीज आर इंटीग्रेटेड इन टू दोडक्ट एंड सर्विसेस लेकिन 
ये जो आप एबिलिटीज कॉम्पिटेंसीज टेक्नोलॉजीज जो आप अपने प्रोडक्ट और प्रोसेस में इंटीग्रेट कर रहे हैं वो पहले वहां के वर्कर्स के माइंड में होगा तो तभी वो प्रोसेस और प्रोडक्ट को यूनिक बनाएंगे तो कोर कॉम्पिटेंसी किसकी हुई कोर कॉम्पिटेंसी आप कहते हैं जी हमारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की ये कोर कॉम्पिटेंसीज हैं इसकी बेस पर हम प्रोडक्ट बना रहे हैं लेकिन एक्चुअली तो वो कॉम्पिटेंसी बेसिकली इज लॉक्ड अप बेसिकली इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द माइंड ऑफ द पीपल एंड दे आर द बेसिस ऑफ इकोनॉमिक सक्सेस सो इन अदर वर्ड द मार्केट कंपिटिशन इज बेसिकली ए कंपिटिशन ऑन नॉलेज आप कह रहे हैं ना कंपिटिशन ऑन कोर कॉम्पिटेंसीज कंपिटेटिव एडवांटेज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कोर कॉम्पिटेंसीज वट इज कोर कॉम्पिटेंसी इज नॉलेज एंड इकोनॉमिक स्कूल ऑफ थॉट के अंदर हम पढ़ कर आए थे कि नॉलेज इज नथिंग मोर देन वैल्यू एडिशन सो लेट मी ब्रिंग इन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ देन वैल्यू एडिशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए वैल्यू चेन थोड़ा सा कॉन्सेप्ट को मैं बढ़ाने लगा हूं बिकॉज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नॉलेज इज नॉट ओनली स्टैटिक वन ना कैन इट मूव आउट फ्रॉम द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दाएं और बाएं इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए वैल्यू चेन एंड दैट वॉज द कॉन्सेप्ट गिवन बाई प्रोफेसर माइकल पोर्टर मैंने इसलिए मेंशन किया कि 1985 में जब उसने अपनी किताब लिखी कंपिटेटिव एडवांटेज तो उसने ये आइडिया प्रेजेंट किया कि लेट देर बी ए वैल्यू चेन फॉर एवरी कंपनी व्हिच इज ए वे ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग योर प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी एक्टिविटीज विद ईच डिपार्टमेंट ईच पर्सन ईच एंटिटी प्रोवाइड ए वैल्यू एडिशन एक्शन टू दी टोटल ऑपरेशन निखाली प्रोडक्शन में नहीं आईटी वाला भी वैल्यू ऐड करे फाइनेंस वाला भी वैल्यू ऐड करे अकाउंट्स वाला भी वैल्यू ऐड करे मार्केट प्लानिंग वाला भी वैल्यू ऐड करे और स्ट्रेटजी प्लान बनाने वाला भी वैल्यू ऐड करे परचेजिंग वाला भी आउटसोर्सिंग वाला भी लॉजिस्टिक वाला भी एवरीबॉडी शुड ऐड वैल्यू इन टू दी ऑपरेशन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव एन एडवांटेज विच इज अ वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट हाउ वेरियस नॉलेज एक्सचेंजेस विल एड वैल्यू टू ऑल द एक्टिविटीज इन जनरल नॉलेज एक्सचेंजेस इसलिए कि वैल्यू इज वैल्यू एडिशन इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नॉलेज नहीं हम ये कह सकते हैं कि वेर वैल्यू इज एडेड नॉलेज इज क्रिएटेड नॉलेज इज ट्रांसफर्ड और नॉलेज इज शेयर वेर वैल्यू इज एडेड आइदर नॉलेज इज क्रिएटेड और नॉलेज इज शेयर और नॉलेज इज ट्रांसफर्ड इन टू दी प्रोसेस टू मेक अ प्रोडक्ट लेट्स टेक ए लुक देन टोटल वैल्यू चेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट Purchase material or inbound logistic activities. We are talking about operation activities. We are talking about outbound logistic activities. And then we are also talking about the marketing staff and the service staff, after sales staff. ये तो वो लोग हैं कि जो मार्केट के साथ इन टच हैं. They are the one who are being supported now. Support. देखिए स्पोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर कहां से आ रहा है अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस वाले एचआर डिपार्टमेंट ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज प्रोवाइड कर रहा है टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलपमेंट वाले डिजाइन डेवलप करके टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप करके मेंटेनेंस के परस्पेक्टिव में इन लोगों को हेल्प कर रहे हैं और वो बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के जिन्होंने वैल्यू चेन कॉन्सेप्ट को इंप्लीमेंट किया एंड देवर दर्स्ट वन टू इंप्लीमेंट दिस मॉडल I think they developed such a unique advantage that even they changed the business model for all other companies. I would like to mention Walmart here. Take a look on their value chain. How ultimately they simply got the channels, the distribution channels disappeared from the chain, and ultimately the benefit was transferred to the customer. Cheaper price, faster product, quality product. so in other words we are talking about a knowledge based value chain dekhiye knowledge based knowledge you get from information information you get from data so data and information of suppliers of vendors of purchase material of inbound logistics of outbound logistics of deliveries of operations of marketing and sales all this data of after sale is present in the information systems and anybody who is looking at this data generating an information 
and focusing on the customer whether in the form of a stock strategy, flow strategy or growth strategy but in a value chain concept. So that each and every one should add value. Or organization ka infrastructure jo hai, wo inko support kar raha hai. Let us then map this. Let's take this as the last slide of this uh, today's session. Take a look on product and service provider. He is giving a product to the customer. And customer is giving value in the form of fee or value in the form of purchase goods or value in the form of rupee or dollar to the provider. Lekin uske baad phir kya hai? Jab aap ne us customer ko ab personalized offering karni shuru ki. Ke thik hai, humari information ke mutabik aap ka purchase pattern humayi ye batata hai ke aap apni gaadi ke andar MP3 ki bijaye MP4 player chahenge. Humara khayal ye hai ke aap apni gaadi ka color ye pasand karte hai. Aap is kisam ki cheezhe pasand karte hai. Personalized offering. जो आप उसके कस्टमर के डेटा से इन्फर कर रहे हैं ना सर्टनली यू गेट दिस इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द कस्टमर एंड यू गिव हिम द पर्सनलाइज ऑफरिंग व्हाट हैपेंस देन यू गेट अ लॉयल कस्टमर एरोस को नोट कीजिए यू गेट अ लॉयल कस्टमर व्हेन यू गेट अ लॉयल कस्टमर यू डेवलप अ सेंस ऑफ कम्युनिटी एंड व्हेन यू डेवलप अ सेंस ऑफ कम्युनिटी विद द कस्टमर देखिए प्रोडक्ट गया ये सर्विस गई पैसे आ गए ये तो एक्सचेंज ऑफ गुड्स है और एक्सचेंज ऑफ मनी हो गई दैट्स गुड इनफ लेकिन अब सप्लायर ने प्रोवाइडर ने कस्टमर के फीडबैक की बुनियाद पर उसको पर्सनलाइज सर्विसेज देनी शुरू की और जब उसको पर्सनलाइज सर्विसेज मिली उसकी प्रेफरेंस के मुताबिक ही बिकेम ए लॉयल कस्टमर and when he became or she became a loyal customer you are developing a community of customers you are long term in business you are in a sustainable business you are focusing on the customer and looking at your business from a strategic point of view that's why my dear students we are saying that we need to map all these value addition activities where the exchanges are being taken place between the supplier or the provider and the customer. And we bring them all together, either in the form of customer relation management system or through the form of supplier or supply chain management system. This is a small concept. I am saying in this course. I am saying that these are the full-fledged concepts. But concept knowledge management without what CRM is and what supply chain management is will not be complete, especially when we are talking about the value exchanges and we are talking from the strategic perspective. So next session ke shuru mein, main in dono concept ke baare mein brief information aapko dunga, taake future mein agar aap in dono areas ko learn karna chahein, aur main phir aapke saath example share karunga, ke on the basis of knowledge for sale, knowledge is a value, Knowledge as a competency, what kind of strategic model would you like to use if you are given a new problem? What kind of solution you will come up with? Thank you very much for listening and thank you very much for getting this information and purpose is that you take knowledge and knowledge management as a river. You grow and let the people and the communities who get attached with you, they will grow, may it be in the form of a company, may it be in the form of a community. So nice of you, and I'll see you in the next session, and until then, Khuda Hafiz, and Assalamu Alaikum.